inability to accurately identify parathyroid glands during neck operations could result in post-surgical complications. Two types of devices were recently approved for label-free intraoperative parathyroid identification. Both these devices rely on detecting near-infrared autofluorescence, or NIRAF, emitted from parathyroid glands. Methods of detecting NIRAF can be broadly classified into imaging-based and fiberprobe-based approaches, which to date have yet to be evaluated in parallel. We therefore aim to concurrently compare these two methods. The prospective unicentric study was conducted over two months in a pilot cohort of 20 patients. An imaging-based modality would typically be comprised of a near-infrared camera, a display monitor, and a control console. Here, we can see NIRAF of an excised parathyroid gland being visualized on the display monitor. while here NIRAF of an in situ parathyroid gland can be seen on the monitor. In contrast, a fiber probe based modality consists of a fiber optic probe, a foot pedal, and a console. As seen here, tissues with a detection ratio higher than 1.2 are classified as parathyroid with this device, while those with a detection ratio below 1.2 are not considered parathyroid. Upon analyzing the data, sensitivity and accuracy of the imaging-based approach was higher when images were interpreted in real time by an experienced surgeon as compared to when the same images were quantitatively analyzed post-hoc. On the other hand, the fiber probe based approach was found to be more sensitive and accurate in parathyroid identification. Based on our current findings, we can conclude that both imaging-based and fiber probe-based approaches of NIRAF detection can be valuable adjuncts for parathyroid identification in neck surgeries. An imaging-based approach is more valuable for spatially localizing parathyroid glands, but does not provide any real-time quantitative information. In comparison, a fiber probe-based technique has a higher sensitivity and accuracy in parathyroid identification and provides real-time quantitative data but provides no spatial information.